NASA astronaut Jim Lovell. Piece of the moon. Bottle 16. Unfortunately. Starbase Atlantics. Are you familiar with it? She's going to give you a few words on what it is. It's an organization for young children to help them develop. I thought that perhaps having this lunar sample here for the young boys and girls coming through the museum and to see what we are trying to accomplish here at Patuxent River will give them the inspiration perhaps to follow a career in, in the Navy or as a naval aviators or perhaps as test pilots and perhaps even going into space as I did way back in, in those days. And so today I'm really happy to be able to present this moon rock which tonight I will formally present it to Admiral Eggert uh, and to be representative of the some 30-some astronauts, I believe, or naval aviators who became astronauts, came through here and were successful in our space program. Captain Lovell has selected the Patuxent River Naval Air Museum to be the lone recipient of NASA's prestigious Ambassador of Exploration Award. This is a priceless piece of another world. Jim Lovell was on the first crew to spend an extended time in space two weeks in a bucket seat next to a West Point guy. <laughs> Sharing air, food, sea stories, whatever the Army equivalent of sea stories is. And he also was the first crew on the first crew to rendezvous in space with another spacecraft. The first to leave Earth's gravity and the first to travel to the moon. He also became the first person to travel to the moon twice and he was the first American to fly in space four times. The second member of the Gemini 7 team will be James A. Lovell. Until his piloting assignment, astronaut Lovell was responsible for monitoring the design of spacesuits and developing techniques for lunar and Earth landings and recovery. Here, the two men prepare to rehearse getting out of Gemini at sea. When they actually fly the long orbital mission, extensive medical data will be gathered. Included are experiments on the effects of weightlessness, in-flight sleep analysis, and many more. As though he were sitting in the graduate stack studying. And Command Pilot Lovell brought Gemini 12 to a station-keeping position at Tananarive, three hours, 46 minutes after liftoff. Belongs to Gemini 12 and its crew. We must not stint them. These men set out to do a job and finish that job thumbs up. Command pilot and pilot had added five hours, 28 minutes of EVA exposure to the Gemini record. Each established his own individual record. Jim Lovell has flown longer in space than any other man, 18 days. 14 days on Gemini 7, four days just behind him. Apollo 8, history's first manned flight to the vicinity of another celestial body. Next up, in April 1970, Apollo 13. Yeah, that's, that's understandable. Uh, you, can, you can always use them if you have to. Two days into the mission, an oxygen tank exploded in the command service module. The crew faced the prospect of slow suffocation. 141 hours, 30 minutes, ground the last time. But using the reserves of oxygen in the lunar module, and with that module as their lifeboat, they were able to return safely to Earth. <laughs> 